Hey, good morning, gasaholics. I'm Hot Rod Bob, and you've got gas, a morning edition, brought to you by Service Tech Equipment, Valley Head Service, and Irwindale Drag Strip and Speedway. I read something on the internet today that says Richard Petty has sold off controlling interest to Petty Enterprises. Now, Petty Enterprises has been around for, well, since the 1950s. Before King Richard took over, his dad started Petty Enterprises for racing. Petty joined the team as a uh, pit guy. He later became a driver when he turned 21 years old. And, as you know, went on to a very illustrious career, one of the winningest NASCAR drivers in history, and he's referred to as King Richard. Well, King Richard was born in 1937 been around for a while. Well, King Richard did sell off part of the interest or controlling interest into Petty Enterprises, which has spread into many things, including building cars, racing cars, and providing driving schools. But selling off the business, people are complaining. People are complaining he's not in control anymore. The guy's over 80 years old. Give him a break. Richard Petty has an illustrious career. He's won Daytona seven different times. He's won over 200 NASCAR events. He even tried drag racing. Didn't do too well at that, but went back to NASCAR after NASCAR stopped the Hemi ban. And he has done many things, including a camp for children. And his grandson runs that right now, or is in charge of that. He's brought his son into the racing family. Kyle Petty was a very good driver as well, and he's continued on with a lot of what Richard started after Lee Petty. Now, Richard had a very strong career, and even when he won his first race, he really had a battle for it. Even though he won, maybe, his father protested that first race. Yeah, look it up. Lee Petty protested scoring, stating that Richard won the race. The race was overturned, the win was overturned, given to Lee Petty. Hmm, wonder how that sat back at the house. Well, Richard Petty is a great guy. I got to meet him early on in my uh, automotive career when I worked for Stock Car Magazine. Met him at Riverside Raceway for the inaugural race, the beginning race of the season. He was a giant of a man then and very personal and friendly at that point in time. The man has earned everything he's got. Nothing was given to him on a platter. He had STP as a sponsor for decades, one of the longest sponsor runs in the history of NASCAR. And it's probably one of the only ones that the woke generation can't complain about, although they'd find a way to do it. But Richard Petty has now decided... It's time for him to step back. Time for him to really enjoy the fruits of what he produced and built. And at over 80 years old, give the guy a break. Let him enjoy his life. Not that he mm -hmm. hasn't thus far, but now he doesn't have to get involved in the day-to-day -day operations. He doesn't have to be stressed with what's going on. Now, we've seen a lot of stress in the petty racing community for a while now, but don't know how that's affected him. But what we can do is we can ri wish Richard Petty luck and a, lo a lot more years of life to enjoy. Richard Petty Enterprises will never go away. Different management, different operational procedures maybe, but Petty Enterprises, I believe, is here to stay. The name that's worth millions. And I'm sure Richard and Kyle and the rest of the Petty family are relieved that it will continue on, but not require their day-to-day -day interventions. Or maybe it will. Maybe they'll stay on with the new operators, the new people that are controlling Petty Enterprises. Regardless of what the circumstances are, what the agreements are, Petty Enterprises is here to stay, and Richard Petty deserves the right and the accolades from us, and he should be allowed to sell off some of that interest. Hi, Bob Moravis. How are you doing? I'm Larry Mulhauser. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Hot Rod Bob. You've got gas. I can give you the history of 
uh, NASCAR great Richard Petty, but, well, most of us know that already. Richard Petty, King Richard, definitely the man to chase when he was racing NASCAR. I'm Hot Rod Bob. You have a great day, and we'll be back a little bit later on with a special edition of Gas with Sprint Car Racer, Bonneville Licensed Racer, and soon-to-be Autocross Racer, Bob Alderman. You have a great day. I'm Hot Rod Bob, and you've got Gas, a morning edition, brought to you by Service Tech Equipment, Valley Head Service, and Irwindale Speedway and Drag Strip. Hey, head out to Irwindale Speedway and Drag Strip now for an evening of fun with the Christmas Lights Parade and... Man, they've got an extravaganza going on there. Take care, folks. Have a great day.